Hi there, Mikhail is here. This is the second part of the video Tips to observe deep sky objects. If you didn't see the previous video, then you can click here. But now we will speak about the objects that are the best for observing by the beginners. They are big, bright and some of them consist a lot of stardust that in the future will turn into the planets, stars and pizza with pineapple. Isn't this cool? So let's get it started, will be very interesting. And we will start with the easiest object to observe by the beginners. Messier 45 or Pleiades. This open star cluster is visible to the naked eye in the sky and looks like the Little Bear constellation. It is located in the constellation of Taurus and the cluster contains many stars, too dim to be seen with the naked eye. But if you will observe it through a not very large telescope, you will see a lot of beautiful bright blue stars. Also, this deep sky object has the nebulosity around some of the stars, but it can be seen only through large telescopes far from the city. The best time to observe this cluster is from October to April. Also, constellation of Taurus has one another bright deep sky objects, Hi Aids. This star cluster situated near the bright star Aldebaran and it is brightest stars form a V shape. Through the telescope we can see a lot of bright and dim stars, but the cluster is not as compact as the Pleiades and it is not so convenient to observe. You can observe this deep sky object also from October to April. The next object is known because of its beautiful photos. Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster... Oh, no? No, Elon Musk, no. Oh, I mean uh, Messier 31 or Andromeda Galaxy. Yeah. This very bright object is visible to the naked eye only in countryside's night sky and looks like a dim blurry cloud. It is located in the constellation of the Andromeda if you will observe it through a telescope in the countryside, then the core of the Andromeda galaxy will be clearly visible. Also, we could try to see its spiral structure and its two brightest satellite galaxies, Messier 32 and Messier 110. The best time to observe the Andromeda galaxy is from August to January, because exactly at that time it is visible high in the sky. Another bright object is a globular cluster in the constellation of Hercules, Messier 13 or Hercules Globular Cluster. This round body can be visible to the naked eye only far from the big city. Through the telescope this object looks like a dim, blurry patch of light. But the larger the telescope, the more stars you could see that constitute M13 as small pinpoints of light. However, only larger telescopes allow resolving stars further into the center of the cluster. The best time to observe this deep sky object is from May to the beginning of fall. I think the next deep sky object you know for sure. Meet the brightest and the most beautiful nebula, the Orion Nebula. It is located in the constellation of Orion and it is very easy to find it because it can be visible to the naked eye even in the city. The only thing you have to do is to find the Orion's belt and then look down a bit. You would see three stars and nebula will be in the middle. Through the telescope we can see the nebula swing like appendages and other faint features. By the way, if we would take a large telescope and go far away from the city, we can see the sea green color of this object. Why sea green color? Because I like sea green color. Orion Nebula has sea green color because green is the color emitted by the oxygen ions, superheated oxygen atoms that have lost some of their electrons and Orion Nebula has a lot of oxygen ions. The best time to observe this nebula is winter 
but it is visible in the night sky from November to March. And now let's have a look at one of the most beautiful star clusters, the double star cluster. It is situated in the constellation of Perseus and consists of the two open clusters NGC 869 and NGC 884, both visible with the naked eye, but if you want to see more details, you need to go away from the city lights. Through the telescope this object looks like two blurry spots with many white and orange stars. In other words, unforgettable sight. If you want to observe this deep sky object, then the best time for this is from August to April. So, it was a brief overview of the easiest objects to observe by the beginners. Also, there are many other beautiful galaxies, nebulae and star clusters. So do not stop only at the mentioned objects. Observe, observe and observe again. But most importantly, stay interested in exploring the universe. Bye!